Hello and welcome to the South Coast of Canada. In this episode of the Travel Ontario series, we are going to Crystal Beach. This is a lakefront community in Fort Erie, Ontario, with a population of only 8,500 people. It was named for the crystal clear waters of Lake Erie. And it is located on the northeastern shore of Lake Erie, right across from the city of Buffalo in the state of New York. It's almost summertime, it's getting warmer and warmer, and soon it will be beach time. Actually, in Ontario, it's probably already beach time. It's one of the reasons why I decided to upload this video now. I've been uploading quite a few videos on the Alberta Beaches series. But in Alberta, we'll never have anything even remotely close to this beach. Uh, this beach is awesome. Uh, first of all, the lake is humongous. It produces uh, really nice waves. You wouldn't even know you are at a lake. It really feels like you're at an ocean. Uh, the sand is awesome. Um, very fine and it really looks like a Caribbean beach. Occasionally there might be a calm day like the day we were there um, on this footage but uh, it is rare to not to have waves. And there were still waves at the time, they were just pretty small. Usually they are pretty impressive, like in this footage here. Crystal Beach is only about 30 kilometers south of Niagara Falls, or about 25 minutes drive. And it used to be quite a tourist attraction with such a nice beach. It had an amusement park which operated for about a hundred years. It opened in 1888 and it closed down in 1989. It closed down mainly due to losing business to Canada's Wonderland and Marineland. Today this beach still attracts tourists, not as much as before. Um, but uh, there are still a few uh, hotels uh, in the community as well as uh, several restaurants. But a lot of people still visit Niagara Falls and um, most of them don't even know about this beach. If you are um, ever visiting Niagara Falls, um, I definitely recommend if you're there in the summer, visit this beach. and. Um, Beach time is pretty much from mid-May to mid-September in this area. Um, usually during this time the temperature of the air is pretty warm. The water also gets in August to a balmy 29 degrees Celsius and that's uh, the surface temperature of course. In terms of air temperature from mid-May to mid-September most of the time will be above 30 degrees Celsius with the occasional rainy day when it would be a little bit cooler like 25 but even rainy days are pretty warm uh, in this area so if you're visiting Niagara Falls definitely go check out this beach and not only this beach there are actually several beaches uh, along that coastline um, starting from Fort Erie all the way Port Colborne and beyond Jump 
and yes on weekends this beach gets very busy um, mostly locals flock to the beach uh, it's not that many tourists uh, and during weekdays it's usually not that busy but let's say a few words about the lake Lake Erie is the fourth largest lake by surface area of the five Great Lakes. It is also the southernmost, shallowest and smallest by volume of the Great Lakes. At its deepest point, it is 64 meters deep. It also forms the border between Canada and the US and the northern shore is occupied by the Canadian province of Ontario. On the western, southern and eastern shores of the lake we have the US states of Michigan, Ohio, Pennsylvania and New York. Lake Erie is situated below Lake Huron as, and as such its primary inlet is the Detroit River uh, which is the natural outflow from Lake Huron and uh, the main natural outflow of Lake Erie is the Niagara River. A like and subscribe would be very much appreciated. And don't forget the notification button that will notify you every time we upload awesome videos like this one. And I have seen some pretty impressive creations made from the sand on this beach. And this here is Crystal Beach Waterfront Park, right next to the beach. And this here on the other end of the lake is Buffalo. And this is a view from uh, the former restaurant called Palmwood. Unfortunately, this restaurant no longer exists. It closed down in 2020. And just a few more words about Lake Erie with a total surface area of 25,000 square kilometers. It is the 11th largest lake in the world. To put it into perspective, it is 388 kilometers long and it, at its widest point, it is 92 kilometers wide. Average depth is 19 meters and surface elevation is at 173 meters above sea level. With this, I'm about to wrap it up for today from the south coast of Canada. Thank you very much for spending the time and I hope I'll see you in our next episode. Goodbye.